We are gathered here today to celebrate the love that Melissa Freecott and Andrew Campbell have for each other, to give social recognition to their decision to commit their lives and accept each other completely, to learn how to help and understand each other, and to travel through life together. This wedding is also a celebration of family. The marriage of Melissa and Andrew brings together two different families, two unique storylines. So a new chapter in their lives can begin to unfold. From this day forward, two families united, blending their different traditions and strengthening the family tree. finally here. It's in one single look, one smile, but you completely took my breath away. I melt at your beautiful smile. <laughs> Here's to loving each other for 685 days or 16,440 hours or 986,400 minutes and then on to a lifetime. Melissa, Andrew, marriage challenges you to share the same journey without abandoning the truth of your individuality. To not lose yourself in one another, but rather walk through this life together. You are very fortunate to have found this kind of love. A kind of love that many seek, but not everyone finds. Many paths have led you here to this place where you know you belong. Your journey has brought you here to the beginning of the rest of your life together. to exist between two people, each person must allow the vulnerability of giving his or her love to the other. Each must be open to receiving the other's love in turn. Therefore, each of us is a powerful creator of love. Each of us, every moment of every day, has the choice to dedicate ourselves to one another or withhold our love and caring. If you ask couples who have a strong and abiding love what they like most about their partners, many will say they are with that person they don't have to pretend to be anything other than who they are. Andrew, will you have this woman to be your wife? To live together in the covenant of marriage, will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, signify by saying, I do. 
I do. Melissa, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so, signify saying, I do. I do. By the power of your love with our blessings, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You have kissed a thousand times, maybe more, but today the feeling will be new. For no longer it simply implies partners and best friends, you have just now become husband and wife, and can now seal this agreement with a kiss. Today your kiss is a promise. Andrew, you may kiss your bride. It is with great pleasure I introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Kim. We are all here to celebrate the union of these two individuals and the family they are creating today. Marriage can be described in many different ways and many of those ways are very cliche. However, the union we are celebrating tonight is nothing short of exceptional. Stop. <laughs> Melissa and Andrew, as you embark on this new adventure, remember, every day will not be magical. Enjoy the monotony. Every disagreement will not be resolved before bed, but tell one another you love them anyway. And remember, you two are the most important components to your family and preserve and cherish that above anything else. Last year, uh, Andrew made arrangements uh, while I was home for Christmas, so I live 800 miles away. I don't get to hang out maybe twice a year if we're lucky. Uh, Andrew made arrangements for uh, Melissa, I, and him to hang out and spend the day together. Um, we pretty much just watched a movie and hung out at the house and all got to know each other. Uh, so that day, I pretty much knew you, you'd found your keeper. So I'm happy that he's found you and happy we're all here to celebrate your day and congratulations.